Before she can start training the dogs, Victoria will spend a day observing the family's problems firsthand. Hey, hi. hi. How are you? Hey, nice to meet you. you. Oh, hello. This is Diego. Hi, Diego. Oh. That's Bailey. Bailey. Oh, She's so precious. Beautiful cat. Hello. This is my husband, Phil. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice I'm to so meet glad you. To meet Hi. You. Good to meet you. Now that Victoria's here, I'm scared. She's going to probably chew us out a little. I hope she shows us what we're doing wrong and what we can do to fix things. And uh, I'm just, I'm happy that she's here. So, Brittany, do you feed Diego from the table then? Um, yeah. <laughs> this is Diego's fork. <laughs> what? That's, what? I was horrified by what I saw at family mealtime. Diego was begging, and then, of course, he got his reward for begging by being fed. He had his own fork, and he started to drink out of his special cup from the table himself. This is the source of a lot of arguments between all of us, and I've just given up. The, the things that Diego's allowed to do and just run the house, be in charge of everything, go anywhere, do whatever he wants is just unacceptable. Well, it's a Tennille, backs up her. OK, Tennille, you back up, Brittany. Uh, well, yeah, I do. I don't know, like she said, I mean, it's kind of cute. I don't know, and then Brittany gets upset, and I don't like to, I don't like to fight with her, for no. one. I don't like to see her upset or see her cry. Tennille and Philip have allowed Brittany to bring these dogs in, and I think it'd be a little soft. And now, Brittany and Tennille are against Philip because he quite rightly says the dog shouldn't be eating from the table. There's this whole war going on. And you know what? It's not benefiting anybody. It's not benefiting the humans. It's not benefiting the dogs. It's got to change. I think he, there should be a rule, no dog. All in favor, and I'm the only one, so. I've got your back now. With this, I have to agree with your father. Bailey. All right, well, I'll let you finish your last meal with your dogs in peace. <laughs> I've been really shocked by what I've seen, but from now on, it changes. Dinner time is quite frankly disgusting. To have the cat on the table, to have Diego coming up and drinking from the cup, then having him being fed from Brittany's hand, but then him nibbling little bits of food from Brittany's plate, the fact is Diego's coming in contact with her food and she's ingesting that food afterwards. And it's very, very dangerous. Why do you think You've allowed Philip this behavior to continue. Why? I think I just haven't put up a big enough fight for it. I, I don't like it. Everybody knows I don't like it. I don't demand it. Okay. I just let it go. When she understands why it's not good to feed Diego from the table on the table, she's going to get it. She's going to understand. She's a smart kid. Cats off the table. Yes. And the dogs also are no longer welcome. Brittany, what I want you to do, if Diego comes up to you, all I want you to do is to ignore him. Okay. If he barks at you, don't pay him any attention whatsoever. I don't care if he barks at you for five minutes. If he stops barking, wait for about three to five seconds of quiet, and then just tell him, good boy. That's all. Diego's down here begging, but that's great, Brittany, because you're ignoring him. I like that. Getting no results from his begging, Diego retreats from the table, a huge difference from his previous behavior. Philip, what does it feel like being able to eat your food without dogs and cats on the table? This is the way it's supposed to be. This is so much nicer. I also think that it helps that he just had dinner himself. Yeah. So he's not hungry anymore. It was great to see that Diego really wasn't interested in the family meal. He'd just eaten himself. He was full, and he went to go lie down. That's what they need to do. Brittany, what's it like? Truthfully, do you feel kind of mean not being able to feed them? A little bit, but not really. OK, good, because remember, food is going to be a really powerful tool for training your dogs. So use it wisely. Don't just give it away for free. Yeah. OK? Later in the day, Tennille lays out a large doggy dinner. 
It's more food than Victoria recommended, but Tennille's worried that the dogs aren't eating. Maybe we should move it and put it back in his original spot. You want your food? Do you want to put it here? If he doesn't eat at 8 o'clock tonight during dinner time, cool back. we'll go back to his old food. Dad. Diego now leaves the family to eat their dinner in peace. Guys, dinner's ready. But Tennille is still concerned. Diego's not eating. Sure. He picked up the food again. She tries to tempt them with the old dry food, but to no avail. There seem to be three feedings in here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are you feeding them three times? Yes. Is that too many or not enough? No, it's, That's, too, it's too many. It's three too many? I thought it yeah. was three times a day. For adult dogs, twice a day is enough. Oh, OK. Yeah. Much easier for the house training process if you feed adult dogs twice a day. OK. Better for their digestion. Oh, OK. Before she leaves, Victoria wants to address meal times. Bailey! Here you go. I have to say, that is a lot of food. Is that too much? Too much food. Whoa, for these <laughs> dogs. I mean, really, for two dogs, you could have half of that. OK. I'm still concerned about Diego not really wanting to eat. Just You saw him just kind of pick at it. He ate a little mm -hmm. bit, and now he's lying down. But He'll that's... probably get back up in a few minutes. Is that OK? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the fact is, the fact is Diego's eating. Mm -hmm. And if he just wants to eat a little bit, fine. OK. You know, if he's hungry, he's going to eat. OK. But I really think you need to get rid of the lunchtime meal. OK. Feed him in the morning, feed him at dinner time. Much better. You can hardly recognize dinner time around here. No. Completely different. <laughs> Do you know what is fantastic, Brittany, and really warms my heart? Is the fact that even though you shouldn't be bringing strays off the street, you've given Bailey a really great home here. And I don't think there's a better place for him. But no more. <laughs> promise. I promise. OK, good. Victoria has helped my family out a lot, and I appreciate it. And I'm going to miss her when she leaves. But here you go. Dinner time in this house is so much better now. It's Brittany's not feeding the dogs from her plate. They're not on the table, and everything is just really great. Meal times have become a lot less chaotic since I started working with them.